before anything else. Winning the big game. Finding what brings you joy. Graduating college. Falling in love. Leading a legacy. Life is good. Before anything else, you have to be born. Me. And it was man for you. And that's what you do, day after day. Hundreds and hundreds of moms and babies. Only life makes it possible. Whatever you do, whatever's been done, especially the impossible, before anything else, you help moms like Kaylee choose life. Kaylee was valedictorian of her high school, worked all through college, then she became pregnant. Knowing how I was raised and my parents being the ones to kind of turn their back on us, um, it just confused me. It was just a really tough, trying time. Just, I was so hurt. They were definitely helicopter parents growing up. And then all of a sudden, they just wanted nothing to do with me. They thought I was going to get settled down, you know, get financially stable, and then get married, and then have a baby. But, I mean, God had other plans. Jennifer had already scheduled her abortion appointment. My husband is 65 years old, so, um, and one, it, I do understand where the, I guess, the hesitation was there and the fear, but then I also was thinking, well, wow, we, we've been together for 16 years. And he's like, no, I don't want a baby, and... So it really took me back because he's really a nice guy. And I, I'm really sick. I was lost. I was depressed. I couldn't share that too much with anybody because I'm the one in my family that's strong. I've never seen my husband that way. So on top of me worried about having a baby at 43 years old, I was also like, oh my God, this is a side of him I've never seen. Once Madison found Women's Care Center, she attended over 100 parenting classes. We came down the street and I saw the pink sign and that's really, and I was like, hey, free ultrasound and pregnancy, like we need to do that, like we should go there. And I went home and just looked this place up on Google and made an appointment. And they kind of took over from there. Um, with anything I needed, I kind of laid everything out to her. My life is in shambles, Allie. Uh, in summary, what do I do? I was crying through my pregnancy. My daughter was even like, wow, mom, I've never seen you cry. I've never seen you this broken. Um, sorry. It's so crazy that one side of the street is pro-life and the other one is it. It was like, do I keep my baby and keep my marriage? But then I knew if I kept my marriage and lost my baby, I was losing my marriage anyway. And then I was like, this is the green light to just start school. And so I started the summer semester. It went really well. We are back together um, once Maverick came and we're doing really well. With it. I'm glad that I decided to stay on the other side of the sidewalk. We're in mother mode now. We're in hyperdrive. We just kept moving and kept going. They were always about just, you've got this. We're, we're here now. Not the plan you had, but we're rolling with it. We'll help you whatever you need. It's your decision, but whatever you need, we're here for you. And I decided to keep my baby. And everything that she said that she was going to do for me, she did, and much more. I know that it would have been a harder route if this place wasn't here. There are still good people in this world. Whoever is out there that is anonymous and is given to the care center, and it has helped me. Just seeing now my dad like so involved here at the center and seeing him so involved with my kids, it's just amazing to see that um, maybe it just took some adjustment time for them after all. You know, maybe it was just a shocker to them. I never thought I would be the person that would be coming into that house. And exactly how it looks on the outside is exactly how it is on the inside. You help every step of the way, building nurturing and self-sufficient families. You created the largest, most successful pregnancy resource center in the United States. You are with her from cradle to kindergarten. Parenting is hard. Parenting is very hard and it doesn't come with a manual. 
you give them a chance, a chance at life before anything else. You and Women's Care Center.